Hello, everybody. Welcome back. My name is Adam Gordon. I'm an IT Pro TV entertainer, and I'm your host for our How to Use Zoom series. In this episode, we're going to take a look at how to actually go in and use meeting templates, an area and a function that a lot of people I find as I talk to them about Zoom really aren't all that familiar with, and yet the power of setting up a meeting template is actually pretty cool. It's also incredibly easy to do. We're going to begin, as we can see already on the screen in front of you, by going and logging in. And we've already logged into the web portal. I'm logged on under my Adam at itpro.tv user. If you've been paying attention during our uh, episodes so far, if you're watching them in sequence in the series, you'll know that's the user that has a paid account associated with it, meaning we're using one of the business subscriptions and we're paying a certain amount of money every month to maintain the functionality that we get in Zoom as opposed to our free or basic user, which is the O365 guy user. Now, for meeting templates, the functionality is identical. So regardless of which user I am on and which one I'm logged in as and which one you may be, if you're using a basic plan or you're using a paid plan because your company's already set you up with Zoom, this piece, this functionality, this episode is identical for both. So it's gonna work the same way irrespective. I've logged into the portal. I'm over here under personal and right here I'm in the meetings area. And as I scroll over, we see these tabs, upcoming meetings, previous personal meeting room. And then down here, it's kind of off to the side just because of the uh, way I've zoomed the screen in and made it big so you can see it. It says meeting templates, but it is gonna be a tab just like the others. And I can go here to meeting templates. And when I do, you'll see that I do have one template that is already saved. I could have up to 40 templates, which is good to know if you're setting them up perhaps for users to use in your organization or for yourself, either way. You'll notice I gave it a name, Team Discussion for Project X. I'll label the template. You'll see it tells me the date and timestamp for modification. I have a couple of actions associated with it. Schedule a meeting from this template or delete the template. Now, when you go to do this, unless you've already created a meeting and saved that meeting, off as a template, your list will be blank. There'll be none there. And that's usually the way that we start out. So let's step back one step. Let's actually see how we create this template because it doesn't just show up magically and it's not gonna be there unless you take some steps. So I'm gonna come over here to upcoming meetings, to this tab right over here. And I'm gonna click on it. And sure enough, I can see that I do indeed have two meetings scheduled, one for today, at 5.30, you could see that one is right there, today being the day that we're shooting this episode, and one sometime in the future from where we're shooting this episode, Monday, April 20th at 4 p.m. Now, both of those are already scheduled. They have unique meeting IDs, as you could see in the third column over, left to right on the screen as we move. And you'll see I could start or delete any of them as I scroll over. In addition, I have the ability to schedule a brand new meeting, adding it to this list if I choose to, right from here as well. Now we're gonna work with one of the meetings that I've already scheduled. I've shown you how to schedule new meetings, set them up, attend them, and do all that in other episodes in the series so far. So you can go back, take a look at those if you need a little primer on how to do that. Let's just work with one of the scheduled meetings in theory that most of us would probably already have in our list. If you don't have any there, then definitely schedule a new meeting. And once you're done with that, it'll pop in here and then you can pick up exactly where we are right now. So I'm gonna grab one of these meetings and I'm gonna take this one that is right here, the one that's scheduled for 5.30 today, and I'm gonna click on it so I can see it and I can edit it. And clicking on the link, it says click to view meeting details. It's gonna allow me to do that. And I'm gonna take us back to full screen so you could see that a little bit more clearly here before we do anything. Let's just go in there and you'll see that I do indeed see the details. It's right there, shows me the day and time, gives me the ability to start the meeting, all that's there. Add to calendars, been through all that as well. Go all the way down to the bottom here, and we're interested in what's going on on this line right here. Let's zoom in and take a look. And you'll see we have the ability to delete this meeting. Well, we could have done that from where we were, and we don't want to do that. We want to use this meeting to, oh, I don't know, maybe make a template. You could see what I'm hovering over, allowing us to do that. And you'll see I can edit the settings. We've been through that in other episodes if you want to, and I can start the meeting. What you have to know about creating templates is that in order to create a template, you have to already have an existing meeting that we can save and make a copy of, and then use that, that template, that copy, to schedule additional meetings with all the settings already preset. That's really the value, the strength 
of what a template gives us. It gives us the ability to pre-edit those meeting settings, get them just the way we want them, and then have that as a die that we can use to stamp out various meetings going forward as often as we want to, hopefully, hopefully saving us some time and trouble as we go to keep scheduling meetings. I'm thinking, for instance, in the education space in particular, if you're using this with uh, students, if you're an educator, you're going to probably have a lot of repetitive meetings to schedule classes, schedule office hours, schedule all sorts of things as students are uh, being forced to attend remotely during what's going on right now with the coronavirus. Well, easily you can go in and you can do those setups and then just crank out those meetings once you have your templates set up, up to 40 of them, very straightforward. Maybe you got five or six classes you're teaching, you need templates for each. Easy to do, no problem. A what if in a business area, away from education, you have different teams that you have to interact with or you have different team members you're meeting with or a combination of those things as some sort of professional in an organization. I could easily see setting up recurring meetings as a manager, saving them as templates and using them to crank out as many meetings as we need. So there's definitely a lot of value in being able to do this. So I'm gonna save this meeting as a template and see how we can populate that template list. Let's just go back out so we could see what happens here. Save as meeting template. We get a little dialog box. We really just have to give it a name. That's the only thing. We're not editing the settings. We're taking it as is. We just have to give it a unique name so we know what to call it. So I'm going to say team discussion for project X, Adam, demo, because that's what we are doing right now. So we'll put that there. Save as template. Template was saved successfully. We see it right there. And so now what we can do Come back up here. We can go back following our breadcrumb trail to go to my meetings where we just were. And I'm going to come over here to meeting templates where we were a moment ago as we started. And sure enough, we could see that now I have two meeting templates. I only had one before. And you could see the one I just created, Adam Demo, is there. Now, if I want to edit the settings on that meeting, I can click there and I'll be taken to the template and I can do that. If I want to schedule a meeting with this template, I can do it right from here. Now, before we do that, I get asked this a lot. Can I schedule meetings using a template from the desktop app or the desktop client? Or do I have to be in the portal in order to use that? Well, the templates are clearly here and available in the portal. The question is, can we do the same thing from the desktop app? I happen to have the desktop app opened up here, already available, logged in. You can see who I'm logged in as. Let's just verify that. Make sure we know. See, I'm logged in as Adam at IT Pro TV, same user we were just doing this as. So we can see all that. And when we come over here, we can see my current meetings that are teed up. They are available right there. Get rid of that. And you'll notice in my meetings area, I do see a list of the scheduled meetings. I do have the ability to join a meeting from a room, but that's not the same thing as using a template. I do have the ability to start a meeting on demand whenever one is highlighted, that one that's right there. And I could certainly do that, as you could see. I'm joining and using the computer audio. Notice that the meeting ID, which is right there, is the same as the meeting ID for the meeting I highlighted. So I just started this highlighted meeting right over here that's supposed to happen at 5.30 today. But that's not the same thing as using a template, is it? So I don't have any ability to create a meeting and spawn it and get to it from this list in here. I could see scheduled meetings, but I'm not seeing the ability to create a brand new meeting from a template here. But what about on my home area? We know we can create meetings, schedule them right from here. We know we can join existing meetings, and we know we can create a new meeting right from here. Let's see about scheduling. When we go to schedule, it doesn't look like I can schedule using a template. I can schedule and go through the process of creating a normal meeting here, make it recurring, things like that, but nowhere here does it give me an option to pull in a template. Not even under advanced options right here, doesn't exist. So it doesn't look like I can schedule a meeting from a template. What about creating a new meeting with or without video, doesn't matter, right? I don't wanna create a new meeting right from here. Well, that's an instant on meeting. That is not using a template. And so the short answer is, as you can see, that I have no way of accessing those templates from within the desktop app. I can only use the template 
from the portal to set up a meeting, schedule it, and then access it once it's scheduled from my meeting selector here, because once I schedule it, I'll see it show up in this list. You're going to see me do that right now. Let's notice and agree that we have two meetings here before we do that. I have the team discussion for Project X, 5.30 to 6.30 scheduled for today. And I have one scheduled somewhere in the future, also team discussion for Project X from 4 to 5 p.m. Notice they have different meeting IDs. They are unique. Let's go back to the portal. Let's finish up by highlighting this one, the Atom demo template. When I say highlighting, we're going to use that one. And let's schedule a meeting with this template. Let's do that. Let's come over here. We have to give it a name, so give it a topic, Project X. Let's call this Atom Demo Now, so we can clearly tell when we see it that it is the one we just did. Enter my discussion, uh, description rather. Meetings are cool. Okay, so we'll do that. Just zoom out so we can scroll down here and make this real simple. Use the template. Well, there's the template. If I don't like that one, just choose another one. I have the option to access the whole list here if I want to. Now I get to schedule it and say when it's going to happen and where because I'm using the settings of the template, although I can modify them if I want to. And I am using now the scheduling option, bringing them together, hopefully saving me time in the process. 6 p.m., yeah, that's an hour from now. We'll schedule it now, no problem. Duration, one hour, great. Time block, it's in the time zone, it's all good. Is it recurring? We'll set all those things. Do we want registration? Do we require a password? Any and all those things. I can modify the settings if I choose to, but the settings are set based on whatever the meeting settings were. All right, so let's set that up. It's all good. Looks like we're not going to change anything. Let's click Save. That meeting has now been scheduled. We can see right here as I zoom back out and come down here that my meeting, it kind of trails off here, right? But you can see right here, Adam Demo Now, that is scheduled in my list of meetings right here in the web portal. Let's go over to the desktop. And you can see, sure enough, it popped right into my list right below because it's a little bit later than the meeting we just had. And we can see if we highlight it that it is indeed the meeting I just scheduled. So I can see meetings that are scheduled using templates in the desktop client, but only after they're scheduled. I don't have actually have the right, the ability, the capability to access a template and use it to schedule that meeting. That I cannot do. I could just schedule a meeting on the fly using the standard scheduling capabilities here. So I just want to make sure you see that and aware of that, but you can see that I can use templates. I just do it from the web portal. All right, so that is how we can use our templates. And to be able to use templates, we imply to create a meeting, save it as a template, and then use it to schedule meetings, and then make those meetings available. That's how we can do all that in Zoom. It's a really great feature, one I find a lot of people are not aware of, definitely one you want to think about leveraging to your advantage if you think you can, and you certainly can save time by using templates, especially if you don't have to stop and explain everything to everybody once you're actually doing it. It is actually a lot quicker at scale. I'll be back with more episodes as we continue our conversations in our series on how to use Zoom. But until I am, happy Zooming, and I'll see you later. Check out the playlist for more videos on how to use Zoom, and be sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel. I'm Adam Gordon, and thanks for watching.